For today's video, we are going to discuss about rounding of decimals to the nearest hundreds and nearest thousands. In the last video lesson, we discussed about the place value of decimal numbers. And if you know how to round off whole numbers, it will be very easy for you to round off decimal numbers because they applied similar rules. Now, how do we round decimal numbers? In rounding decimal numbers, there are some simple rules that we need to consider. Example, round 12 and 3,865 ten thousands to the nearest hundreds. In our example, 8 is the digit in the rounding place. It is the hundreds and six is the digit to the right of the rounding place so the rules states that if the rounding place is in the hundreds and the digit to the right of it is greater than or equal to five meaning if the digits to the right of our rounding place is five six seven eight or nine we are going to round up by adding 1 to the rounding place here in the hundreds place. Since 6 is greater than 5, so we will round up. Meaning, we are going to add 1 to the digit in the rounding place. Looking back at our given, 12 and 3865. Again, our rounding place is the hundreds place. And it is occupied by 8. Since we are going to round up, we will add 1 to 8. So 1 plus 8, that is 9. And then, we are going to copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place. That is 12 and 3 tenths. Lastly, we are going to drop all the digits to the right of our rounding place. That's 65. So we are going to drop them or eliminate them. Or another way is do not copy them. So if we are going to round 12 and 3,865 ten thousands to the nearest hundreds, we will get 12 and 39 hundreds. How about if the digit to the right of our rounding place is lesser than 5? What are we going to do? For example, round 12 and 3,842 ten thousands to the nearest hundreds. So in this given, 8 is the digit in the rounding place or the hundreds place and 4 is the digit to the right of the rounding place. The rules state that if the digit to the right of the rounding place is lesser than 5, we are going to round down. Meaning, we are going to retain the digit in the rounding place and then drop all the digits after the rounding place. Since in our example, 4 is lesser than 5, so we will round down. So all we need to do is copy the digit in the rounding place. So again, in our given, 12 and 3,842, 10 thousands, we are just going to copy the digit in the rounding place, that is 8. And then, again, we will copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place, and that's 12 and 3 tenths. Lastly, we are going to drop all the digits to the right of our rounding place and that's 42 we will drop or we are going to eliminate them so our answer is 12 and 38 hundreds therefore when we round 12 and 3842 ten thousands to the nearest hundreds we will get 12 and 38 hundreds Let's try these examples. 
round the following decimals according to the indicated place value. Number 1, 201 and 3,459 thousands rounded to the nearest thousands. So when we round a decimal number to the nearest thousand, we will apply similar rules when we round decimal numbers to nearest hundreds a while ago. So first step, we are going to identify our rounding place and that is thousands place and it is occupied by the digit 5. So we already identified our rounding place. The next step is look at the digit to the right of our rounding place. So the digit to the right of our rounding place here is 9. Again, let's look back to the rule. If the digit to the right of our rounding place is equal or greater than 5, we are going to round up. Since 9 here is greater than 5, therefore we are going to round up by adding 1 to our rounding place, which is 5. So 5 plus 1, that is 6. Next step is we are going to copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place. And that's 201 and 34 hundredths. And the last step is we are going to drop all the remaining digits to the right of our rounding place. So in our given, that is 9. We are going to drop or eliminate 9. And therefore, when we round 201 and 3,459 to the nearest thousands, we will get 201 and 346 thousands. Number 2, 25 and 2,647 ten thousands rounded to the nearest hundreds. So again, first step that we are going to do is look or identify our rounding place. And our rounding place here is the hundreds. And it is occupied by the digit 6. So we will just write again our given here. 25 and 2,647 ten thousands rounded to the nearest hundreds, which is occupied by the digit 6. Next step is look at the digit to the right of our rounding place. So in this given, the digit to the right of our rounding place is 4. And the rules state that if the digit to the right of our rounding place is less than 5, or that's 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0, we are just going to copy or retain our rounding place or rounding digit. So in this example, we are going to retain 6 since it is our rounding digit. Next step is that we're just going to copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place. So we'll just copy 25 and 2 tenths. And the last step is we're just going to drop all of the remaining digits to the right of our rounding place. That's 47. We're just going to eliminate or drop or we will not copy them. So, our answer is 25 and 26 hundredths. Again, when we round 25 and 2,647 ten thousands to the nearest hundredths, we will get 25 and 26 hundredths. At this point, let's try to answer this activity. Activity A, round the decimal number to its underlying digit. So for number 1, our given is 3 and 7,795 ten and our underlying digit here is 9 which occupies the thousands place. So next step is we are going to look at the number to the right of our uh, rounding digit. 
since the digit to the right of our rounding place is 5, therefore we are going to round up or we are going to add 1 to our rounding place. So 9 plus 1, that will become 10. But instead of 10, we're just going to write 0. And then we will carry 1 to 7, that becomes 8. So instead of writing 3 and 77 hundredths, we will write 3 and 78 hundredths. And then we will just eliminate 5 or the digit to the right of our running place. So the answer is 3 and 780 thousands. For number 2, the given is 68 and 7,094 ten thousands. And the underlying digit here is 0, which occupies the hundreds place. Then, we are just going to look at the digit to the right of our rounding place. And that digit is 9. Since 9 is greater than 5, therefore we are going to round up. Or we are just going to add 1 to our rounding place. So 1 plus 0, that is 1. Next step is... We are just going to copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place. So we will write 68 and 7 tenths. Lastly, eliminate all the remaining digits to the right of our rounding place. So we will not write 94 anymore. So our answer is 68 and 71 hundredths. For number 3, our given is 63 and 4,438 thousands. And our underlying digit here is 4, which occupies, again, the hundreds place. Next step is we're going to look at the digit to the right of our rounding place. And that digit is 3. Since 3 is less than 5, therefore we are going to round down. Or we will just retain 4. Or we will just copy 4. Or the rounding digit. Next step, again, we will just copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place. So we will write 63 and 4 tenths. And the last step, we will drop all the digits to the right of our rounding place. That's 38. So we will not write 38 anymore. For number 4, our given is 3,847 ten thousands. And the underlying digit is 4, which occupies the thousands place. Next step, we are going to look at the digit to the right of our rounding place. And that digit is 7. Since 7 is greater than 5, Therefore, we are going to round up or we will add 1 to our rounding digit, which is 4. So 1 plus 4, that is 5. And then we, we will copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place or to the left of 4. So we will write 38 hundredths. And lastly, we will drop 7. For number 5. Our given is 1 and 2,537 ten thousands. And the underlying digit here is 5, which occupies the hundreds place. Next step, we are going to look at the digit to the right of our rounding place. And that number is 3. Since 3 is less than 5, therefore we are going to round down. Or in other words, we will just copy or retain our rounding digit. And that is 5. So we will write 5. Next step, we are going to copy all the digits to the left of our rounding place. So we will write 1 and 2 tenths. And for the last step, we will just drop all the digits to the right of our rounding place. That is 37. So we will not write 37. Therefore, our final answer is 1 and 25 hundredths. For activity B, round the following decimal numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands. Here are our given. Number 1, 
twenty-three and seven thousand five hundred seventy-four ten thousands. Number two, fifteen and two thousand nine hundred six ten thousands. Number three, five and one thousand three hundred eighty-six ten thousands. I will give you fifteen seconds to write your answer. But if you need a longer time, you may pause this video. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, twenty-three and seven thousand five hundred seventy-four ten thousands. Round off to the nearest hundreds will become twenty three and seventy six hundreds. And if we are going to round it up to the nearest thousands, we will get twenty three and seven hundred fifty seven thousands. For number two, fifteen and two thousand nine hundred six ten thousands rounded to the nearest hundreds will become. Fifteen and twenty-nine hundreds, and if it is rounded to the nearest thousands, we will get fifteen and two hundred ninety-one thousands. For number three, five and one thousand three hundred eighty-six ten thousands, when rounded to the nearest hundreds, we will get five and fourteen hundreds. And if it is rounded to the nearest thousands, we will get five and one hundred thirty-nine thousands. All right. So when we round decimal numbers, we need to consider these simple steps. First, we need to identify the rounding place. If it is hundreds or thousands. Second, we need to look at the number to the right. Of the rounding place, and consider two things. First, if it is greater than or equal to five, we need to round it up by adding one to the rounding place. Second, if it is lesser than five, we are going to round down by retaining the digit in the rounding place. And for the third step, we need to copy all the digits at the left of our rounding place. And lastly, drop all the digits at the right of it or at the right of our rounding place. And that's it. I hope you've learned something for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video lesson.